Oh, hello everyone. Um, by the way, the following broadcast may contain strong language or scenes that you might not be happy with, so therefore, I have to get it out of the way now so you don't email someone and complain. But, hello everyone, welcome to the Glacier TV post race show, live from Finland, hello! Yeah. Woo! Um, so we've had ourselves two random races here today, the Proto-Wise $1,000 Cup. Who's touching me up already? Come here, baby, come here. Everyone, Aleski Aloma. Came home fourth in race number one, and then kind of fucked up in race number two. Came home in 22nd position. I didn't fuck up. You did fuck oh, up. No. Okay, everyone fucked up, but hey, um, especially me, except for Hutu. We'll talk about Hutu in a minute, actually. Um, but hello, what is this? <laughs> it's gonna go downhill from here, anyway. But we have ourselves. Um, this broadcast is brought to you by Sinibukov, Long Drink, 5.5% ABV. Um, what are you doing? Um, but, yeah, so to run through the second race of the day, um, David Williams taking home victory by 22 seconds over Yoni Tamara, Dean Verges third, Martin Kronke fourth, Pablo Lopez in fifth, and Philip Stamp in the sixth position. Rikurena Motor Park in seventh, Carl Frederick Hurston <laughs> in eighth, Yoni Jens in ninth, and Gregor Hutu coming home in the tenth position. Um, gonna talk to you first, Yoni. Um, for Gregor Hutu, he had himself, uh, Pretty scary second race, but um, in the end, he managed to get himself back into the top ten when Darren Marsh ran out of fuel. Yeah, and, um, okay, it seems like we're having a bit of a moment here. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, strong performance, and um, I, I, um, I haven't seen the replay properly. I, I, we watched it a few times. I watched it once it happened with Hutu and the Radical Scar. Not exactly sure what happened there with Hutu, who made the mistake, but... Uh, Still with a damaged car, he kept it on the kept it on road. Didn't make any extra mistakes. <laughs> Suffered in a straight speech, but uh, did the job. And Jesse Neiman was involved in that um, wreck down in lap number one. Until that point, Hutu actually was struggling the most on that race start, only really getting himself two positions. The three ID drivers gaining a lot of time and a lot of um, places. And really for. Um, Neiman and it kind of went wrong for him in the last um, on that first lap of ways he could have had himself a really good showing when you have a look yeah. to see what Alitalo did, what um, Conke did, what Lopez did, all drivers were around him on the grid. Turning himself up into 10th position and Hutu was 18th at the time and all of a sudden uh, Hutu was a 9th and uh, Niemann is on the DNF so that was uh, my WTF moment of trying to figure out exactly what happened there I like this on the replay what exactly had, did happen but uh, it's just some, some miraculous way, miraculous way uh, Gregor Hutu just no matter what the, how big a wreck he still manages to find his way through and we have to talk immediately in fact we're going to bring Rick Rea Tallow in let's bring Ricky in and also, can we turn User the um, was moved mic to your up channel. so I don't have to hold it like this always? Uh, on no. Team speak? Uh, yeah. Uh, team speak? Uh, what are you doing? I've been holding it. You'll hold it like this for the next <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah. what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, capture, playback, voice adjustment. Uh, fuck, that's for others. No, um, that's for others. We need to capture. Uh, I don't know. No, I can't. Okay, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Riku Charmander, hello. <laughs> hello, how are you? I'm okay, we'll turn you up in a minute anyway. But, um, you had yourself a pretty good day, coming home in the top five, I think, in race number one. Race number two, however, you... Where were you in race number two? You came home in seventh position. Um, you had to save fuel, apparently, but you managed to get yourself home in the top ten once again. Pretty good race. Oh yeah, I'm glad to actually <laughs> for once finish the second race without any major issues. Of course, I still picked up damage from lap 1, but I was able to keep decent pace, only being about one, one and a half seconds off pace. That really, uh, for once, I was able to finish in the top 10. Uh, yeah, about the fuel. <laughs> about the fuel, I uh, I took uh, two kilos uh, away from the... Uh, uh, from the first race because I finished with three kilos left, so I thought that would be enough. But because of the damage, it it caused me to use more use up more fuel, and I came across the line with 0.1 uh, kilos left, even with some heavy saving, uh, such as using short lifting and using higher gears in corners. And 
when we consider that first lap um, crash, it really did come out of nowhere at the worst point of the racetrack for it to happen as well. Down into the complex really is not a place where you want to scramble off track because the grass is so slippery and you can only really get that two cars in line there. Yeah, it's it's a really quick right-handed and a, a, a really sudden braking into a very tight left hairpin and it's kind of a blind spot uh, hair, hairpin to people coming in in the middle of the right-hander so I think it caught many people off guard the in, uh, initial incident and that's why there was a heavy pileup. I almost got past it without damage but uh, I was unfortunate to be picked off by, I mean hit by Alexi Eloma just slightly and it was enough to uh, cause issues with my straight line. And the rest of the race, I mean, you had that great moment when you went three wide, um, splitting Gregor Hutu in what you call a Mika Hacken and Michael Schumacher a Spa 2000 moment, which is our part of the race because it was just fucking crazy. But um, the rest of the race, pretty interesting. <coughs> um, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I had the damage. So I knew people behind would be charging up fast, but unfortunately I couldn't do anything about Dion and Pablo. They were just so much faster on the straight line that... Uh, they could just fly by before turn one even, so I had no chance of defending against them. But I had the uh, Carl behind me the rest of the race, and it was interesting trying to hold him back and save fuel at the same time. It was a big compromise of how much to save and how much to drive fast so that, so that he wouldn't get a chance to pass. And next week we go to Circuit Spa of Franco Champs, the last round of the Proto Ice $1,000 Cup. And Spa's a good track, but it's going to be very tricky that first lap once again. Oh uh, yeah, especially coming breaking into turn one. It's 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 so tight that as a 2011 Pro Series showed us that a lot of mayhem can happen there. Even in Le Combs, it's it's just so tight and cars coming way too really fast and that can cause that can cause a lot of problems. Um, and of course, these cars are going to have to start themselves and like run up to the Air Rouge Radio Complex. How does that make a difference compared to uh, blasting it down into La Source instead? Oh really? I didn't know that. But uh, of course, uh, it skips one of the bigger uh, contact pla where co places where contact can happen in turn lap one because it's just so tight and slow, th and they're coming so fast in turn uh, into La Source, so that eliminates that issue. Uh, uh, that probably, hopefully, causes a, gives us a cleaner start. And Yoni's going to talk to you in Finnish now, aren't you, Yoni? Uh, what should I talk about? Anything. Uh, Ask him about his sex life. Uh, Rippi, minkä sen seksielämää sä vietät tällä hetkellä? Semmosa, että en... No, mitä sä sanoi? Jonas, pitäis pitää ja... Tunkeni kaksi, jos on meil perseeseen. Okei, tota... Ei siinä se lehti Ja tota... Mites tota... Mites tää aasialainen vaatekulttuuri, että tota... Siellä, siellä näkyy enemmän näitä... Näitä, näitä, näitä niinku mie miehiä, jotka näyttää naisilta, niin onks sä, onks sä, kuuluuks sä itse näihin miehiin vai tota, oot sä, sä tota, vielä kysynyt suomalaisuus? No kaipa, mä nyt koitan miehenä pukeutua, että en oo vielä sinne, sinne asti yltänyt, en oo ihan niin asialle vielä, että pukeutuisin naiseksi. Mä <laughs> ei nyt sentään, ei, ei, ei ihan kumminkaan, en, en, en oo mikään taimalainen. Kesä tässä, ja se on ihan besteveri, joo, mä oon varmannut sille Iiratin ja SR ihan perkeleesti ja rahaa, on, rahaa on tullu. <laughs> I think I did, that's, that's just about it. Um, very quickly, we'll move yourself on a couple of weeks, um, also to the 16th Street Racing League in Indianapolis 400. Um, have you been able to turn left yet? I've done a couple, just to get used to the old set of things. Um, don't really do that often, especially in the Indy car, so... I guess that'll be good fun, just, you know, a, a little a bit of a learning experience for me. Uh, very quickly, so we're having a look, yeah. Um, Finnish aliens going around Bathurst. Of course, if you're an iRacing whore, then uh, Bathurst coming to the iRacing service in a little while. Give a little wave to the cameras. Hey. Hello. This is proof that not all Finnish drivers are aliens, <laughs> allegedly. Yeah. Except for Leski. You can he, mention he, that there's... He managed uh, to fist me with 12 fingers earlier. <laughs> You can, you can mention that there's uh, two Drivers World Championship drivers right there. Don't forget also you can keep in contact with us on Twitter. Use the hashtag um, ProtoWise um, if you're crazy enough to talk to I mean, why why are people even watching this? We did this yesterday. We had about the same viewers. We, we, we do struggle to figure out how 
um, people watch these. But anyway, um, what's he saying? One black guy among so many white people. It's it's interesting. Okay. Hello. That's a bit hey, funny. How is it going, man? Um, and for uh, of course, um, Yenny, the uh, 16th Street. No, we're not talking about that anymore. Um, Spa next week. You made a very good point about starting the race down at Air Rouge Radio because it's a lot more difficult than starting the race down at La Source. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I just, yeah, uh, I mean, of naturally, La Source is a slow corner. So if somebody, if somebody spins in front of you, you have at least somewhat of a reaction time to react to it. Whereas if in a rouge, uh, in, the, in, the, in the front of the field, some guy makes it too wide, slight mistake, goes sideways, and that's where I get, uh, you, you can even end up crashing the entire field. So uh, based on the fact that there's not that many lines that you can take to a, a rouge. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I surely hope that, uh, uh, that they'll make it pass safely. If they do, it's going to be pretty much clean lap, I, I'm pretty sure. And you've got also the exit out of radio. You've got the chance, you know, if you go too wide, you get a slow down penalty, everything like that as well. The Kemmel straightaway is a very narrow track with not much runoff area as well. So with all these drivers trying to avoid each other and some drivers perhaps getting slow down penalties, it's going to be, especially race number two, once again, very crazy. Yeah, and the slow down penalty in the lap one is uh, pretty, can cause pretty dramatic effects because we've seen on several tracks that uh, if you have... Uh, the slowdown penalty in the opening lap, it's very, very very difficult to shake it off and especially if you're dealing with a close distance for racing, you don't really want to lift off that bad so you try to minimize the lifting and if uh, if you have to lift in the process uh, entering the comb with a slowdown which does, it refuses to go off or go away you can end up causing all sorts of uh, mayhem uh, in the later corners and looking outside of the Pro Ways Cup um, what's the plans for the next couple of seasons? Can to do the same shit again? Uh, most likely uh, we're gonna have the uh, well I can uh, pretty much uh, give a give a bit of a spoiler here uh, we're gonna have uh, after season one at the beginning of season two we're gonna have the secondary not the, not by the name of proto ice but we're gonna have a secondary cup starting this time with the McLaren GT3 also with the thousand dollar prize pool and four can we have yeah, a party at Salmas speaking to us right from Finland <laughs> hey party at Salmas uh, what you got? Fuck, Nettie, you fat like. fuck. That explains why Salmonadic is so slow. He has a big belly. Yes. <laughs> um, what you. What, 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 don't you don't hit the wall, you idiot. <sighs> they, these guys are driving Bathurst. Yeah. And he's crashed that car about three times already because he's a dipshit. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, someone talk to me. Guys, UFC tonight, who's gonna win? Velasquez or uh, Dos Santos? Salama! 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 by brutal, to brutal to knockout. Alright. Come and sit on my lap. Wet t-shirt. Wet t-shirt. Hey, Will. Hello, baby. So, did you enjoy the, enjoy the race today? Yeah. Pasi Valtan was opening the field. Shut up, rookie. <laughs> but... Oh, hey, Willy, turpa pite siellä. The only word in Finnish I know, by the way. What? Torpaki. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty four good. Four out of five. Yeah, thank I you. I said turpaki. Turpaki. The R is not quite there. Shut up, Riku! <laughs> um, but anyway, the first race, same as always. Second race, crazy as always. Who was your driver of the race? The driver's race was uh, Huttu on the first race, and second one, Pablo Kay. Lopez. And Pablo Lopez, what, he came home fifth? Yeah, something like so that, he, and he started from the... 20, last... Yeah, he gained 22 spots, that's just fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm sure he will win the Hard Charger Award. So, good luck to Pablo for the next round at Spa. And, are you going to race next week? Uh, maybe, maybe if I if I get a good setup. I can steal one. Will you run the next cup? Will you run the, the McLaren Cup? Yeah, sure. I will try to attend at least for the first races and see how it goes. And next time you, um, I see you, are you going to not dress like a homosexual? <laughs> no, never. I will stay as I am. Okay, see you later, fucktard. <laughs> um.
Who else wants to talk? Yoni Hagner. Yoni Hagner. No, not Hello. that fuck. Yeah, you fuck. Belly. Yay! There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Yoni Hagner. And my belly. And his belly. Squat. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. We'll move the camera. Shut up, Ricky. Uh, it's like talking to Liam Jenkins right now when I'm saying this. Or Marius. It's like, shut up, Marius. But instead, it's talking to you. Um, did you enjoy the race? Yeah, very much. Anything else to say? Pablo is the best driver of the race. And uh, you going to race next week? No. Nope. Why not? I'm not into this series. Are you going to race the McLaren Cup? Absolutely, yes. Are you going to win it? No, he's going to wreck everyone. Yeah. <laughs> How many times are you going to wreck the first lap of every race? At least one, myself. Good point. <laughs> uh, and say something random. Riku te emole voi leipä. What the fuck? Yes. Can you make me a sandwich as well actually? Can I have, um, I'd like some brie, some bacon and some grape. Is that okay? I think we punch you the monitor right now. Oh, fuck off. Anyone else want to talk? Yeah. I'm Alexi! <laughs> um, and by the way, um, Ricky, um, what have I got to call you in the next race? You can choose that yourself. Yeah, Ricky Walla Hobbit coming into town number four! <laughs> I'm gonna sit on my knee, I'm like Michael Jackson. Except I'm still black. So, are you going to say more than five words to me at a time? Yeah, it was very good race today. <laughs> Fuck you. <dude. laughs> um, but you came home in the top five in the first race, and then you fucked up in the second. And, and you said that you could go down to the, the the grass, but you couldn't, unless you got alien reflexes. Are you are you secretly an alien? No. Are you lying to us to prove a point here? But. Maybe. <laughs> what the fuck? You turn the camera. Turn the camera back, right? You dipshit. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, baby. But, um, Spa, in one week's time, is it going to be a better race for you or are you going to wreck everyone out again? Well, I think uh, it's, uh, it depends on if it's GP pits or... It's endurance pits. Read the fucking schedule. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, on endurance pits, how many people is going to crash? No, well, when, when we're going to go into Aarhus, and then we'll, like, I mean, Ewa... Uh, uh, do, do rouge, whatever. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are, we are going, s like, some, with someone side by side. Then side by side. Some, some guy comes and crashes me out, like, you know. Who's gonna crash you? I don't know, maybe, maybe... Thomas not. It should be... I don't know. Maybe Ricky at the touch... Alamato Park. Ricky Alamato Park. In fact, he's now Ricky at a Hobbit. In fact, it's Ricky had a fucking make me a sandwich, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, thank you. Would anyone else like to talk? Henry, really? Yeah, really? Come on, boy. Willie and Will. Yeah. <laughs> Willie and Will, how you doing? Uh, free Willie! Yes. How you doing, bitch? Great. Good. Did you enjoy the race? Yeah, it was an amazing race, especially seeing uh, Alexi and uh, Yoni Backman and Will Wins and doing the things, uh, I mean, driving, broadcasting, commentating. It was re really amazing to see see live. And have you ever watched a random broadcast of this live before, or is it just like, you sit at home watching it by yourself? I sit at home watching by myself. Aww. But in team speak with friends. Yeah. And, um... Obviously, you've got to bring me over to Finland again to do it again, but watching Yoni do the race, and he's like, in fact, Yoni, um, Yoni was doing this whole thing before the race, you know, the dancing with the four fingers. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck was he doing there? Yeah, Yo, Yoni is uh, amazing. He's, he's re really good with uh, like uh, these dancing games, and he has really nice reflexes and fast, fast muscles. Yeah. And, and everyone, because we're not allowed to do it loudly, can we give everyone a round of applause? To Oi! Stop! Pay attention, you cock! Can we give Yoni a very quiet round of applause because there's people sleeping upstairs and downstairs and that way and that way? <laughs> that's um, that's to Yoni. But 
You know what? You I, what the hell is that? <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have Yoni doing the camera work. It's. In fact, um, <coughs> Mr. Aloma, where's he gone? Um, explain what happened to you in practice earlier on when you joined the the breakdance club. Thank you, by the way. Well, camera got my money and then everything exploded. Um, and how many times did you flip? I don't know. I lost the car okay, after two. Thirty meters, literally. Vump, vump. Yeah. Okay, you can go now. Bye bye. Ten four. Ten four. We done? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching Random Proto Eyes Post Race Show Crap on Glacier TV. Tomorrow we have the Classic Grand Prix World Championship Series. Where the fuck's that from next week? Uh, um, yeah. It's from somewhere. One minute, we'll find out. I'll check. I'll check. It is. Um, Sebring, yes, Sebring International. Sebring. Okay. So the Classic Grand Prix. Okay. Might be coming tomorrow, we don't know. Um, if you're the Lotus people, call us. Um, the Classic Grand Prix World Championship Series might be on tomorrow. Start time, 4pm, 4.30pm GMT. That's Joni's foot, I've been Will Vincent. This has been Club Finland, or the good people only, because if you didn't come and see me, that means you're not a good person of Club Finland, except for you, Ricky, because you're in Fuck you, Will. Anyway, we'll talk to you all later. Bye! Fuck you, people! <laughs>